Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Lorena Aguirre and I post here on my YouTube every Monday and Saturday. So please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And let's go ahead and jump in. All right, you guys, so this year I do want to do a series of kind of just content creating and how to make videos, how to do pictures and all that jazz. I want you guys to be a boss babe this year. So what we are going to be doing is showing you guys how to get those perfect pictures. There are so many different ways that you guys could do pictures. Um, just honestly, the biggest thing that I recommend is actually going on some of your favorite nail creators instagrams and just basically mimic what they are doing if you see a picture that you're like oh my gosh that picture is so cute and you just gravitate towards it even if it is a simple set just look at the way they pose the hand look at the way um they like look at what they have in it, the aesthetic so let's go ahead and jump in and i'm going to be showing you guys basically some of the things that i do to help my pictures be on point so first off, I know everybody and their mom is going to want a ring light when you first start out. But some of the things that I do want to mention is, yes, a ring light is great. But in all honesty, I really regret getting my ring light because of the fact that when you put in so much filing into the nails and then once you're done filing, you go and take a picture, you pull out your ring light, a lot of times it'll have that like that rounded look on it. And to me, personally, I do not like that look. It makes it look like the nails are lumpy to me. And I did all that hard work just for it to look lumpy, in my opinion. So, honestly, there is some other glam lights that I'm going to go ahead and link down below. So, if you guys are interested in some of those, I do recommend doing pictures with those instead. Just because it gives that nice line down the center of the nail. Like, as if the nail is... Or as if the nail it just shows how glossy that the nail is without making it look lumpy so that is one of my biggest tips I love my ring light for other things and like videos and stuff I feel like the ring light is great but as far as pictures it's not my babe so honestly save your yourself the heartache and your money <laughs> um, and just try and go with one of the other ones that I am going to be recommending to, to you guys and I'll go ahead and link that down below but if you guys don't want to buy any more light I do have this gooseneck lamp that is actually on it's mounted to my my desk and these are actually really good too but when you use this what you're going to want to do is actually turn all the lights off so usually like if I'm working late or if it's during the day I will close my curtains and then I will turn this baby on and then just take a picture okay something that I do want to recommend is when you are doing your pictures you really want to make sure that it's a super clean background you don't want there to be like a hot mess in the background and things like that because sometimes I feel like it kind of just like I don't know if it doesn't look nice a nice background or if it looks like too much is going on in the background it might look overwhelming and it's hard to focus in just on the nails um I feel like it kind of takes away from the nails mm -hmm. All right, you guys, so next thing that I do recommend is getting one of this, these gigantic foam boards, especially if your desk is a dark color like mine. Usually the contrast for the table, I don't know, like I just never like the way the black looks behind the pictures. I think the white looks nice and clean, so this is something that I highly recommend. And you guys could see like the big difference of like me wearing black and then holding up the whiteboard the white the light will bounce off of it and it just illuminates everything and everything looks so much more gorgeous and then this side it also has a pink side to it and this is really cool too if you kind of just want to mix it up so some I got this one from Hobby Lobby um but something about these is that you do want to pick up another one every so often just because the wear on it and sometimes like I'll be putting cuticle oil on my client last minute and it's right above the board and a drop of oil will get on it or some polish might get on it or it just gets worn over time so definitely recommend always updating your boards and if it looks messed up don't keep using the same one I mean this it is great because it is such a large board that 
I mean, if a little part of it gets messed up, just kind of like use this side or like see this like little dent right here. If that shows up in camera, use this side or and things like that. Or and you could also cut them in half too if that works for you. I like leaving it big just because my table's my table is really really big it's like probably like that thick so yeah but that is what i use it retails for 7.99 so honestly it's a super super easy easy nice and clean way to make sure your pictures look really really elegant or you guys could use a fur something like this i know this for a while this was a really big trend everybody loved using fur pillows or things like that and then another big trend is using jean jackets so honestly you guys this jacket i did get it from or it's highway jeans so but this jacket is super super like the color of it is a super cool color for nail designs and things like that i'll go ahead and try to insert some pictures so you guys could kind of get a look of how i do some of my pictures and some poses that I do and I'm gonna also insert a thing where it shows different poses that you can do all right you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you a behind the scenes and I'm gonna set up my mount for my camera and then something that I do want to mention to you guys is I do use my phone for my pictures as well so I sometimes I will use my DSLR art camera and in all honesty I don't feel like you actually need a DSLR I feel like it's nice to have and things like that but it's not a necessity I feel like phones honestly the cameras on the phones do such an amazing job and usually if your phone is updated or like sometimes I do notice once you go three years back like your phone is like starting to be like three or five years old that is kind of when you want to update your phone and get a new phone and make sure that your phone is up to date and on top of that if you guys are a licensed nail tech you guys can use it as a tax write-off so um that is something that i recommend doing is because with your phone you use it so much in your business whether it to be text videos and things like that so highly recommend keeping up to date the phone that i have is a note 10 i believe um but yes, I do want to update to the latest note just because that is like the notes. Honestly, guys, if you guys are a Samsung person, the note is by far my favorite phone. But let's go ahead and jump in and show you guys kind of a little bit of behind the scenes and basically what I am doing. All right, you guys. So I went ahead and put my board down right here in front of the window. If you guys are able to get natural lighting, I highly recommend to do so just because this is what the lighting looks like. It looks just so much more real and I don't know, it just looks so pretty. But you guys can add the ring light if that is something that you want to do. But the ring light gives a whole different kind of look and feel. So honestly, if you guys could get natural lighting, I highly recommend doing that. But next, you guys are going to want to get some jewelry. I ended up getting these off of Amazon. I'll go ahead and link them down below because these were such a good buy off of Amazon rather than going to... Um, rather than going to... Target and things like that because before I would go to Target to get all of my rings and sometimes Target's a hit or miss but this ended up coming with like 50 rings in it so each bag has like 15 rings or something like that but there's so many different ones that you could use you could either use the silver ones or this bag it's all just gold ones in here but honestly you guys I'm just gonna go ahead and pick some out and then kind of just go from there. Usually I like to play around with the rings. See which ones look the best. Sorry you guys if the nails are coming off a little bit. I did a poor job about sticking them down. But let's go ahead and jump in. So you guys could use this furry background. You guys could see how that looks. And of course like... I would normally do this, I would probably do this with a gold set. And then I would pose my hand like this, I'm trying to fix that pinky. Or I would even do something a little bit like this where I kind of have this out a tiny bit with the ring showing. And that would be a picture right there. 
or I could even use the shirt that I have on right now and do a picture right there and then let's see how this would look but even right there would look super super pretty and then usually for my videos I will move them up and down like that if there are any shine or I'll flip them back and forth like that but yeah you guys that is pretty much how I take my pictures and sometimes if I don't end up liking the way the pictures come out I will take off all these rings and I will end up actually trying a different set so let me go ahead and show you guys what a different set would look like too I'll, I want to show you guys a little bit the rings in here this is what they look like I will link them down below so you guys can get a better look of them on Amazon so I'm gonna hook, none of these have names on them of what they're what they are called. They just all come together. So you guys know I love me some gold. And then even shine. Hmm, I don't really like this one. Lucy even like stacking like that is cute. This one is not a favorite of mine. Ooh, and this is really cute too. I love these ones right here. Or even if you wanted to go simple and just add one ring. Alright you guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit in seeing different ways that you guys could do some pictures and different hand poses and things like that. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll be back with more videos. Bye.